it's so interesting to actually talk to workers inside Bangladesh because what they say is that there's a speeding up of production. So now increasingly workers have completely inhuman targets every day. But we do have to remember what happens if you just have an you know, intervention in one place and don't look at things systematically. Understanding who makes your clothes. The worker is exploited. That's who makes your clothes, right? It doesn't matter if it's in the global south or in the global north or the global south in the global north. So the kind of pinpointing of bad brands, et cetera, what that does is it lets consumers off the hook because I am not buying there. I know who's making my clothes. You don't. The truth is brands often don't know who's making their clothes. Brands don't want to know. If brands don't know, then we can't possibly know, right? Sometimes workers don't know who they're making clothes for. So that's where we have to start. We have to actually do our homework. We have to do the reading. We have to do the kind of nitty gritty research that people in fact have been doing for a long time and that workers can tell you about, that organizers can tell us about.